Hey folks, Creepy Kentuckian here with you. Uh, another quick unboxing video. I just got home from work. I'm going to keep this rather short. So, I got this package in from Amazon, and it's probably the first one I've done with Amazon Prime. And, uh, well, first one that I've got in. And they recently had a sale on Criterion Blu rays. Uh, I recently, not too long ago, got my first Criterion, which is the Godzilla. Um, I really, really enjoyed the edition overall of Godzilla, and I'll probably talk about that at some point uh, in detail, but I was really impressed, and I know a lot of times on the show over the years, I've been like, ah, Criterion, blah, 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 you know. Um, I'm learning to realize I should probably be hating on the spine hunters, you know, the people that, that look for that number right there. You know, so they can complete said collection of Criterions, which is kind of hilarious now because you have two different sets to get now. The Blu-ray Criterion and the DVD Criterion, two separate ones, so get to spending more of your money, jackasses. But anyway, I'll talk about Godzilla at a, at a later date. This is a package I got in from the new sale. And got my exacto knife here which is the best thing to open DVDs and boxes and stuff with uh, we'll see what we have here for you guys and if you like these unboxing videos let me know definitely or I won't keep doing it and for the, the people that uh, are curious I'm in my blu-ray room now you can see a lot of the blu-rays behind me there I've been collecting Blu-rays since 2007, so it's been a long time with me in Blu-ray. Alright, got three titles here. Uh, only one that I've never seen that I bought, blindly bought. Um, all these were on sale 1999, which, you know, it's kind of high for Blu-ray, but not Criterions are usually 40 bucks. Um, this is a film from Terrence Malick. Uh, I saw this movie years ago and always loved it. It's kind of like um, um, Bonnie and Clyde in a way. I haven't seen it in years though and I'm looking forward to checking it out. It's Badlands uh, starring Martin Sheen, Sissy Spacek. Um, you know this, I remember really just loving the cinematography in this and you know just the pace of the movie. Um, you know and like I said I haven't seen this in many years. This came out in 73. I think it was one of the earlier ones that uh, I can remember seeing Sissy Spacek in. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to checking this out. This is uh, new restored 4K digital transfer, which is cool. I'm looking forward to seeing, you know. I always, the Criterions, from what I hear, are always um, best picture quality possible. And, you know, a lot of great extras and stuff like that in here too, you know, commentaries, documentaries, all that cool stuff. So looking forward to checking out Badlands again. Like I said, it's probably been about 10 years since I've seen it last, but I remember really, really enjoying it. Um, you know, when I saw it on, it was probably on IFC or one of those channels. So there we go, Badlands. The next one up we have here is one of my personal favorites. And I actually have this on HD DVD. And I hadn't seen this one until more recently. Um, probably in the last two or three years, I'd never seen it. But I fucking just fell in love with it. And I want to watch it almost once or twice a year now, which is crazy for me because I'm, I no, don't normally do that, do that. This looks like an awesome edition of uh, Re Richard Linklater's Dazed and Confused. This is the 30th anniversary of this. Um, uh, 30th, did I say 30th, 20th anniversary of, uh, of this particular movie. It came out in 93. Um, and I'd never seen it. Like I said, I, it's weird because it just escaped me. And I love movies like this anyway. Um, but it's a, it's a film set back in the 70s. Pretty much, you know, anybody ever went to high school can relate to this movie. Went to a public high school, a lot of shenanigans and bullying and stuff like that. Um, 
I want to do a, definitely a, a, a dead pit review, a special video review of this, because this is an awesome flick. I mean, I, I legitimately love this movie. This is, uh, and I wanted to have the best edition out there. I, of course, had the HD DVD, but I wanted to get the Blu-ray of it. And uh, yeah, so um, looking forward to checking out. It's got a really cool cover too. It's more along the lines of the uh, God, uh, Godzilla cover that I have. Um, like a digi pack kind of, and uh, some cutouts of uh, you know Matthew McConaughey in this movie is hilarious. His haircut's awesome. So yeah, that's dazed and confused. Really happy to pick this up for just twenty bucks. And the last one is a blind buy. It's a movie that I've never seen, but it's a classic, and a lot of people will probably be like, "What the hell? Why have you never seen this movie?" Um, but yeah, it's it's a movie. Um, with uh, Steve McQueen, The Blob, from uh, what year did this come out? 1958. And uh, sorry for the glare there. The Blob, um, of course, had a remake in '88, which is very uh, below two. But this one is, you know, um, probably an early horror classic. I would say. Never seen the movie though. No, this is one that's escaped me all these years. And what better way to check it out than check it out on Blu-ray disc from Criterion. So, yeah. Really pleased with these titles. This was spine number 91. So this is one of the earlier Criterion releases. Which I think is cool. Like, I guess the spines they're releasing in order they originally came out from Criterion too. So, um, I would love to see one of the dreams I've had if Anchor Bay would ever get you know, let Halloween go elsewhere. A Criterion edition of Halloween on Blu-ray. How cool would that be? That would be amazing. But, um, yeah. I'll definitely want to check this out real soon. Um, that's the Blob from 1958. And continue on here. We got, no, just rounding everything up. Everything else we got up. We got the Blob, Dazed and Confused. And Badlands. So that's my Criterion haul. Uh, any other Criterion releases you guys recommend, definitely let me know. Thinking about possibly getting uh, Vampire, is the name of it. That's only on DVD though. Um, or possibly um, Night of the Hunter, which I think is on Blu ray. And I've always wanted to see that one too, never seen that film. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you again soon. Later.